Hello YouTube, Dr. Sola here. Uh, my batteries have gone into absorption as you can see and to force them back into bulk I've put two ACs on. Uh, we're pulling 800 here and I'm sure we're pulling close to 1500 or 1600 on the other one. Uh, we're maintaining yeah, it's, it's 57.3 volts on the batteries, the PV just cut off and it will cut, cut back in again. It's a problem I see with this and we're going to correct it by moving the PV from this one to that one. I don't know why it keeps cutting but it cuts. Our batteries are 57.1 volts, we have two ACs running, let me show you in a second, okay? So it's a very sunny day, I'm not going to point too much to the sky but you can see it's pretty bright outside. There are some clouds coming. Um, you can see AC number one. You see it dripping water. Okay, so AC number one has been on since, has been on for about 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. It's been on for about four and a half hours. And then AC number two, I just put on. The room is still very warm, but AC number two is on. And yeah, I can feel it already. AC number two is on. I'm sure you can hear it. So I'm running two ACs on the system because today production is going to be phenomenal. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos. Hello YouTube. As you can see, I'm pulling 1.48 kilowatts out of my battery, so 1400 watts. Uh, we're using 2200 watts. So our PV is short. Uh, batteries are 95% and ah, that's something I do not know what it stands for. I'll figure it out. 56.58%. So you see it's bouncing. So this is the advantage of a lithium ion battery. You can pull high voltage or high current out of it. We're currently only pulling 12 amps, which is nothing. And it doesn't really, the battery voltage doesn't sag. Now it's dropped to 687 watts is what we're pulling from before. We're pulling 1.2 kilowatts. So the sun just came back up. We have two ACs running. So I have something here for you. This was uh, Jehu Garcia did a video where he showed um, the battery box. He showed you a battery box for the Nissan Leaf and it was for a 7S. I've purchased the same box and I would assemble it. I'll put a battery, um, seven Nissan Leaf batteries in it and I'll do a new video on it. Here is the top. Um, I'll figure out where the handle goes, but it comes with a handle. And then um, I guess this allows you to secure it to the ground if you need to secure them to the ground. So people had asked me, uh, people had asked Jehu where he purchased it because when they went on the Tech Direct website, they couldn't find it. And Tech Direct sells it separately for about $50 and it comes with all the screws you need to put it together. So well, let's look at what's going on with my two ACs on. Uh, Chargery says I'm pulling, you can see the numbers as they fluctuate. It says I'm pulling as much as 30, 20, 30, 40 amps now. But the batteries are still holding. As you hear, my MPPT on the controller keeps bouncing in and out. So we definitely are going to move it. In fact, let me see if I can have my guys move it today. All I need is um, battery disconnect from my controller and I should be fine. So once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria.